pudding. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Toddler Time. We are so glad that you could be with us today. I miss seeing everybody, but anyway. Now, last week we did um, a lesson on earthworms. Well, today I'm doing a lesson on spiders. Oh, don't get scared and run away because actually spiders are very beneficial. They are very helpful to us. And I hope today that you'll have a little bit of under, better understanding of spiders and what they do for us and how they help us um, in, our, in our story time today. So anyway, so when you think of spiders, a lot of times you think of Halloween and things like that, and, and you get scary and you just want to run away. But no, spiders are very helpful, and we're going to find that out today. All right, let's get started today. And I have a book here that I'm going to read called The Tickly Spider. Spider lived deep in the grass at the edge of a field, about three buttercups away from where a little boy was lying on his tummy. Boy, isn't that a beautiful garden? And look at all the creatures in the garden. There's ants and all kinds of neat creatures in the garden. And you know, this time of year, if you go out to your flower garden, I bet you can find some of these crawling around. The little boy was peeking in between the long green grass blades. Deep, deep, deep in the grassy wilds, the little boy looked, and as he watched, he saw a strange thing. Hmm, I wonder what that was he saw. Well, pages don't want to turn today. He saw a red ladybug a stalk of grass very slowly. He saw the shadow of a butterfly and then, wasn't that a beautiful butterfly? In and out and around grass stems came a little spider over a root a twig. Lugging and puffing along it came as little spiders came. The spider was coming straight towards the little boy, winding in and out of the grasses. But the little boy knew just what to do. He was a little boy who knew how to be very still. boy knew that if he kept stone still, the spider would only walk across him. He was just like a big hill to the spider, a big hill that had to be climbed to get to the grass on the other side. When the spider came to the last blade of grass, in front of the little boy's nose, it stopped. Then it began to climb. It climbed, it climbed, until the grass bent towards the little boy's cheek. Tickle, tickle, whoops, excuse me, kaplunk! It jumped right into the hollow under the little boy's eye. Boy stay very still. Tickle, tickle. The little spider started down the little boy's cheek. Tickle, tickle past its nose. Tickle, tickle by the corners of his mouth. Even though it tickled like a million little feathers, the little boy lay as quiet as a stone. the little boy didn't feel any more tickling. He lifted his head slowly and saw the happy little spider climbing off through the grasses. Over a root and over the twigs. 
twig, lugging and puffing in and out and around the grass stem went the little spider. And that was how the little boy stayed very still and saw a lot of things happening in between the long green grass blades. Then as the sun set, the little boy walked slowly home. Right. Now that was a pretty cute book about spiders and house spiders. Now I think that was a, probably a garden spider. That was a very colorful spider. And you know, boys and girls, there's over 40,000 types of spiders all over the world. Wow, that's a lot of spiders. And you know, spiders do a lot of things. When we think of spiders, we think of spiders in a spider web, right? And it's very fascinating to me at how a spider spins a web. Did you know a spider can spin a web in about an hour's time? Boy, that doesn't take a whole lot of time. An hour goes quickly. But a spider starts spinning its web and it makes its web. Now, a spider has an ability that the silk that comes out of its backside. And when it starts making the web, it makes this part and it makes it, it anchors it so it will be really very sturdy so that if something flies in it, it can trap it and hold it. But then when it gets in the middle of the spider web, she starts secreting some sticky stuff and that sticky stuff she uses on her web. So when a fly or a gnat or a moth or something gets in the web, they stick to the web and she's got them caught and that is going to be her lunch. Now, when we think of spiders, we think there's actually spiders do use webs to trap things. But there's also spiders that are hunters. I know sometimes you might see these brown looking spiders in your house running around the floor. Well, when I was reading about spiders the other day, I found out that those kind of spiders are actually hunters. They look around for like roaches and spider uh, and, and things like that around running around in your house. Now, a spider is not an insect, okay? A spider traps and eats insects. And what they do is when a bug, like those old pesky flies and mosquitoes that we all hate, they get caught in the web of a spider. And then when they get caught in the web, she goes right over and she injects a poison in them. And that kills them. But also the poison makes their insides sort of liquid. And then what she does is she slurps it up and drinks it, just kind of like you drink a milkshake. Okay, so they don't really actually eat the insect. What they do is they drink the things that are inside the insect, and that's how they make their meals. Now spiders, are you see a lot of times in gardens, and, and you see spiders outside in your shrubbery. And if you ever taken a walk sometimes and looked outside or been walking around, and, and sometimes you see spiders, of course, in your house, that's true. But uh, I know I have sometimes have flies that come in my house, and I'm sure you do too this time of year. And some of the spider webs that I do have in my house, well, they catch some of those flies. So I think, hey, that's pretty good because those flies are so pesky. So spiders may look kind of mean, and, and some of them are pretty kind of ugly looking, kind of like this spider right here. But some spiders can actually be very pretty. Now, that's like a tarantula looking spider, and that's, ugh, that's kind of a hairy looking thing. But you know, when they do their webs, as I said, the webs are beautiful sometimes on a foggy day, and a web may look like that. And it's really fascinating to know that a spider can do a web in about an hour's time. And that's not long at all. Here we have a, like a type of garden spider, this beautiful yellow spider. And then we have another garden type spider. This kind of spider sort of makes those zigzaggedy webs sometimes. And they're interesting to look at. As I said, some spiders really are kind of ugly. But, you know, it's okay because they really help us out. They help farmers out. You know, when farmers plant crops and stuff, and spiders catch moths and things that eat on the plants. So that's like a garden spider right there. So spiders can be very helpful. They may be kind of scary looking. Now, there's only two kinds of spiders that we really should be afraid of that are actually poisonous, and this is one. 
This is called a black widow spider. Now, if you ever see one of these that has a black hour, uh, I mean a red hourglass on his stomach, that kind you do want to stay away from and not bother because they are poisonous and they can make you very sick. There's one other kind of spider that's called a brown recluse, and he kind of looks kind of like that, okay? Now, that's another poisonous spider that we do have in this area that you have to be very careful with because they are poisonous too and they can make you very sick. So the only kind of spiders, now when you see a spider, you really don't wanna bother the spider. You want them to stay and do what they need to do, but you particularly do not want to be near or, or bother the brown recluse or the black widow, because as I said, they can bite you and they can make you very sick. But otherwise, spiders are very helpful to us because they do help with those pesky insects that we always hate. So when you look at spiders, think of them in a positive way and think of how they do help us. And don't be scared of them and run away because they do, they are here for a reason and they do help us with those pesky flies and stuff that we hate. Well, are you ready for a craft today? I thought I had a couple of crafts that I'd like to do with you today. And one is, we are going to make a spider, and I made one out of our hands, okay? I made one like this. So what we need is we need a piece of construction paper, and it could be any color you want it to be. I chose yellow, sort of like a garden spider that we saw in the book. And we're going to take this piece of paper, and we're going to fold it in half, okay? Now where you see the folded part like, Right there? Okay, I'm gonna put that down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand. I'm not gonna use my thumb, I'm only going to use these four fingers. Why? Because spiders have eight legs. They have eight eyes too, but they don't see very well. But a spider does have eight legs. And that's the difference between a spider and an insect. Insects have six legs and spiders have eight legs. So we're gonna take our hand and we're going to put it down on that folded part like that, okay? Now, I'm not using my thumb. My thumb is... And now these are gonna be the legs of the spider. This is something you could do this afternoon when it's nice. 